and I'm in the office starting to feel a bit more like official that I'm actually here even though the Wi-Fi hasn't arrived which is kind of stopping me and also my printer so I still have to do some work at home it's it's happening it's pretty much done and look at this I got pillows mom and dad asked me what I wanted for Christmas and I was like I don't know maybe like a candle or pillows for the office and mom just chose the nicest pillows we saw them together in Byron and I was like, oh, I don't know, like I love them, but they are on the more pricey side. And they got it for me, which is so cute because these couches are really nice, but they're not the most comfortable. So I'm gonna unwrap it with you now and finally put it on the couches because they're so cute. So this is how the couches are looking. I absolutely love it. I am obsessed. It's just such a nice color. They're so comfy and instantly go well with the space. And I can't wait to get the carpet because I think all together it's just gonna look so good. So I'm just leaning against my new pillow. I'll link these pillows on the screen and in the description if you guys wanna get some yourself. Oh my god, my mom just messaged me saying that my carpet that I bought for the office is here. I didn't think it would come for ages, so I think I might rush home and get it. But that's crazy that I put out the pillows the same day that I'm getting the carpet. Oh, oh my god. Ah, I got the carpet. I hope it's good. I hope so too. actually feels like a nice quality one. Huh? And you can see it's amazing, you know? Yeah, and like it goes with the green, like it just ties it. everything in, right? I love it. So this is how the carpet looks. I'm so obsessed with it. It still needs to be kind of like flattened out, but I just feel like it looks so nice in the space, especially when I'll get like a desk and a mirror. I bought it off Etsy and I'll leave a link in the description to the person that made it. She got it to me on time so early. And I just like that it looks like actually just like handmade and good quality. I think it's made in Morocco. And like the whites are kind of yellowish, which I actually really like for some reason. Like it's just really warm toned and just, oh, I'm obsessed. I kind of forgot to film most of today but Heidi came over before and we just caught up because I hadn't seen her in a while and I just kept beating and stuff but yeah I've just been doing orders, computer work, some editing, answering emails, all that jazz which I don't know wouldn't be that interesting for you guys to watch because it'd just be more time lapses of me just sitting down doing stuff. <laughs> I'm about to leave because I have to go to like an appointment. I'm seeing this doctor, she says I have scoliosis which could be causing my jaw pain because I've had like jaw pain for the kind of the past two years so I'm trying to fix that. Um, but yeah so I'm going to that appointment and now I'm just gonna rush home first. But yeah it's been another lovely day in the office. I know I'm wearing the same top as yesterday, I swear it is another day. I just kind of wanted to rewear it because I just I really like it. It's so comfortable and the material is so good. It's from this brand called Everlane. This is not sponsored or anything. Like I did find out about them because 
um, they wanted to gift me some clothes, but I actually bought these myself and I really, really love the quality and the fit and stuff. So I can link that down below if you guys want like some really good sustainably made tank tops. Highly recommend. But yeah, I'm gonna go home now and then go to the doctor and then we'll see where life brings me, I guess. But peace. Money. Um, we just had dinner and now we are going to my first brand event. <laughs> no, kidding. But this um rental dress place in Byron. Wow. Um, invited me to come check out their store and maybe get a free dress to rent. So we gonna go and check it out, maybe have a drink. I think they have um brookies. Oh is that what they have? Mm -hmm. I think so. So let's go! I didn't really get to talk to you guys, but as you saw, I spent the morning just packing orders and beading and stuff, so I didn't film much. And then I went to the brand event, which was really cute, apart from the fact that we literally weren't wearing green. We got there and we were like, we stand out, like everyone's just wearing green. And I'm in like full black, she's in like a bright pink t-shirt and black pants, like we were just like... I was pretty busy as well, so we didn't really stay too long, but yeah, I slept over at Tallulah's and then I got to work in the morning, and if I'm being really honest, I feel kind of weird this morning. Um, I found out yesterday after the event that kind of there's quite a lot of COVID cases circling around Byron, and I also found out this morning, it's a long story, but to make it short, my brother has to go to New York this week to get his American citizenship because we get our American citizenship through my grandpa and it's his last chance to get it before he turns 18 so he has to go to New York this month and obviously if he got any COVID he wouldn't be able to fly and then wouldn't be able to get his citizenship and I'm just a bit paranoid because I have all these like parties and stuff and I just really really don't want to risk getting my mum or my brother sick and yeah, I don't know. I'm just feeling a bit bummed. I also was talking to Tula about it yesterday, but like I've just had quite a lot of anxiety recently, which is not really me. Like I'm not a very anxious person, but like I'll just be sitting and like talking to people or like just doing something really chill where I'm like fine. And then I'll just get this like feeling in my tummy and it just like comes up to my heart and it just... I feel so anxious and I think anyone that like suffers from like anxiety attacks and stuff knows like that's the feeling that you get just before and like luckily I haven't had any like anxiety attacks or anything but just like definitely feeling like a bit unsettled and anxious but like not really aware of it like it keeps coming as if being really random I'm like why am I anxious like everything's fine and I like I'm really good at like self-soothing and like trying to get myself to be like good and grounded again but it's definitely like been happening the past few days quite a bit like I'll just randomly feel kind of anxious and I don't know I'm definitely feeling that a bit this morning like I'm fine but there's just like this underlying thing in me that I'm like just feels like there's just like oh I don't know like little tingles I could like end in an explosion. I think that's no, I don't. I we tried not to. Summertime 
a busy day I am trying to stay calm <sighs> I also need to be in Byron at like one because it's my friend Amber's birthday so we're going to raise so I just kind of need to get this all done now and I also need to go pick up some like flowers for her and stuff so I'm like <sighs> we can do this <laughs> Yeah, uh -huh. 